Dear Pennies and Pants, it's your girl, Lau Pan, CEO of ISLP, the Ink Spot LLC. Today's video is called Pens Rhythm Nation. Why I love one up. Okay, so first of all, let me say thank you so much for watching this video, checking out the Penny Black YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking out my online magazine, De La Pen, All Pen Everything, as well as my website, ISLPDTX.com. Thank you so much for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so now let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video, Pens Rhythm Nation, why I love one out. Okay, so now I have been wanting to shoot this video for forever. I had meant to shoot it when I had first shot my Why I Love Monster X video a few months ago, but I just, I don't really know what my excuse is, so I'm not going to make one up. But um, I'm finally shooting it today because Wano just released his uh, first single album, which is called Obsession, because he's got, you know, in K-pop, they got different names for the albums. But he just released his uh, first single album, which is called Obsession, and it has two songs on it. Um, um, no, Eye on You and Somebody, and it is absolutely epic. This is um, from part two of his first album, Love Synonym. So this is Love Synonym uh, um, uh, part two, Right For Us. So, um, and I got this album as a gift, Christmas gift from my parents. So this is uh, from that album, which I believe this album dropped in part one and part two dropped in 2020. And then I believe he dropped uh, Blue Letter in 2021. And in between that, he dropped the Japanese album On The Way. He also has a Christmas song called White Miracle. Um, it's really cute. So I obviously discovered one o late because I discovered one o like, okay. So of course, like most Mon Weenies, you know, I know of one o because of Master X, okay? So for those that don't know, one o was originally a member of Master X, okay? So Monster X debuted in May, May 14th, 2015, right? So he was with Monster X then and he left the group and went solo with, I mean, he left the group in, I guess the end of 2019 and then debuted as a soloist in September of 2020. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on my thoughts on that, but that is how like, you know, he started out. So. Then like I discovered Master X in 2020, like late 2020, right? And so by the time I had obviously discovered them, 1-0 was already solo by then. So when I first started listening to him, he was already a soloist, you know? So like I had like gone back and like watched old Master X videos and saw and knew that 1-0 was in the group. I was like kind of wondering like what happened and all that stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna do a whole separate video about that. Um, but I, was like, oh, but I want to know what happened to Wano. And this was like right before or like right after he did the solo debut. So he had some solo music out. So I went ahead and like added all of the solo albums, which at the time were just Love Synonym, Right For Me, and Love Synonym, um, Right For Us, right? So I literally fell in love like with those albums. Like, you know, and, and to this day, besides Obsession, that is still my some of my favorite music by one of because it's such a vibe like it's it's something about like him as the whole package you know what i'm saying to my weenies out there like you know he he's so like everyone talks about his looks and how handsome he is and he has a really um let me see if i can find a photo real quick for the for the weenies that may not know how like built how well built he is I don't know if I have a, a photo that'll show how well built he is. I think this is a decent example. But like if you look at that photo, you see he's really, really well built. And again, that photo probably doesn't really do it justice. But like he's he seriously got like a bodybuilder's body. Like he just works out all the time and he just is a really good looking dude. So uh, that's what a lot of people know him for his good looks but he's a really really talented 
singer, songwriter, producer, and arranger. And he's written and produced and arranged a lot of his own. Sorry, y'all. He's written and produced and arranged a lot of his own solo music. And it's really, really dope music. So I really, really love and appreciate 1-0. And so um, when I discovered him, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta get into this. I gotta get into this. And I just started watching all of his music videos. Like I watched, um, you know, Open Mind, Lose, Losing You. And then a few months later, um, when like Ain't About You and um, what were the other singles from this album? I gotta pull up the track list. So I'm sorry, I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, Lose, Ain't About You were all on this album. But there was another big single from this album, too. What was it? It was Lose. Yeah, it was Lose. Because there's Lose and there's a song he has called Losing You. And then Ain't About You is a total bop. We Need is Fire, too. So, like, and I remember when I really, really, really became obsessed with Wano was honestly, seriously, last summer, like, although I had started listening in 2020, it was, like, 2021, summer 2021, that's when I was, like, no, I know it's seriously it, um, and I literally could not stop listening to this album in particular, and I think this is why this is the one that I bought first, was love, the love synonym, um, especially the reason why I bought the part two before I bought the part one is because in part two, you know, he has the black hair. I'm not sure if he has the blonde in part one, but I personally think he looks better with dark hair versus blonde hair. And I don't really love him in crazy colors. Like when he does like the, like, and he hasn't really done it since um, being a soloist, but when he was still with Monster X, he would sometimes do like pink and orange. And it looks good on him. Cause Wano is one of those people that can literally pull off. And let me keep pulling up his pictures for those that may not remember exactly what he looked like. But he's one of those people that can pull off any, like, style as far as fashion and hair or whatever. But, like, because he is such a naturally handsome man, he really just doesn't need all that extra shit. He don't need pink hair to stand out. He don't need orange hair to stand out. He don't even need blonde hair to stand out. He, his black hair makes him look so much more unique. And I... Please, I hope no one would get offended by me saying this, but he looks more Korean with his black hair. For some reason, when he has lighter colors, I just, I don't know. And I think, and me, and this is just me as a total sidebar, me, Penny, personally, like, because y'all know I'm saying I'm a black woman with natural hair and I, you know, celebrate my own natural hair and talk about natural hair care on my YouTube channel and on my blog but like I'm just so much more pro natural regardless of whatever culture you come from so like when I I just like seeing people in their natural state I don't like a whole lot of hair dyeing and makeup and stuff like that it's just not my personal jam um but again he's a handsome guy who can pull off anything you know what I'm saying? I'm, please don't anybody leave this video saying Penny said he didn't look good. No, he looks amazing in the follow video with that bright ass orange hair. Okay, it's just I don't think he needs bright orange hair to stand out in the follow video. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's it. That's it. I'm just saying he don't need it. Not that he don't look good. I'm just saying he don't need it. And same thing when he debuted as a soloist, you know what I'm saying? So I guess he felt like, okay, I'm gonna have blonde hair, so I stand out amongst my backup dancers. But again, he don't need all of that. Wano just has, there is just something about his vibe that he just, he literally just doesn't need all that. He just, he just is a handsome, talented man that will pull you into his content regardless. So you're gonna be plugged in. And what is so amazing about him, again, is the fact that he's such an amazing singer, songwriter, dancer, <laughs> producer, arranger. I mean, he's just a multi-talented guy. So when you have a man that is like, or a woman, but we're talking about a man right now, um, that is so talented, you know, you can't help but just be in awe of that. And 
every single song on every album is amazing. Like the only song of his that is one of my least favorites and I like the song, it's just my least favorite one on song is Blue. I like the song, but I think what gets me honestly about the song Blue is not even necessarily the song itself. It's honestly kind of the music video because as iconic and as dope as the music video is, my issue with the um, Blue music video is that it goes into the, that cutesy concept stuff that K-pop is just so ingrained in K-pop. It's like, oh, let's be cute. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I guess just for me personally, as a grown-ass millennial woman, I'm just not really into all of that shit. And so when I see it, see it portrayed in K-pop, sometimes I'm just kind of like a little over it. You know what I'm saying? But of course he has a right to create and produce whatever kind of music and content he wants to. And as a fan, I will support anything that he does. I'm just sharing my opinion take it or leave it again if blue is your favorite song by all means continue to stream it weenie continue to listen to it i continue to stream it and listen to it too it's just like i said it's just one of my not so favorite one no songs but i do like the song i just personally prefer the songs where he is just a little bit more edgier and seductive i just think that it makes him stand out a lot more and i feel like that is what's needed in k-pop and in the music industry in general right now is a really strong sexy seductive male soloist with a really cool voice and vibe and i feel like wano has that and it stands out even more when he does songs like eye on you and open mind and lose and losing you those are the songs that just have that vibe. And I also think he did dope with um, Come Over Tonight. Wish I was dreaming for that video to get, or that song to get a music video. I love the stage performances though, especially with the female dancers. I think that is absolutely an iconic Wano moment because like he's dancing along with these female dancers, but they're not just like grinding on him and he's not grinding on them. It's just male artists and these female dancers is dancing together to this beautiful song and it's really really epic i also love um no text no call um that was an iconic iconic dope song and i know i use the word iconic a lot but i just feel like you can't not use the word iconic when you're talking about one oh but yeah i absolutely love him he is like to me he is the male soloist in k-pop i really don't <laughs> care about too many other people um to be 100% honest, there's a couple people that I think are pretty dope, um, but one o to me is it. So I was like, I just wanted to shoot a quick video talking about why I love one o and what is dope about him and like how I found him, how I discovered him. You know, I plan to get so much more one o uh, merch in the future. And like Weenie, we gotta talk real quick too. I gotta put the album down just for a second just to talk about this Obsession album. Because like this Obsession album is hitting so different. And I really feel like he is just so confident in this comeback right now, you know? And I think maybe when he first debuted as a soloist, he was maybe a little bit nervous and he wasn't sure how he was going to be received and if people were going to really be down for him. And then, you know, it's such a weird time this last two years since he debuted as a soloist because he just now started being able to be able to do in-person shows again and he can only even do those in Korea. So obviously he hasn't been able to really perform as a soloist in front of international fans like myself. So I'm just sure he's probably just been feeling like, ah, you know, but I, I pray that he has been feeling the love through the internet because I know me personally, I try to stream every song, um, every music video. I try to click that heart button, watch every live. I just try to support support Wano as much as possible. So I just was like, I need to do a video on Wano, talk about why I love him, why he is so freaking dope. I can't believe this is like my first video that's only like 15 minutes long. But like, I'm pretty much done with everything that I wanted to say, but I'm like, I feel like I should say more because I normally record 45 minutes worth of content. Um, other things, I woke up and I watched his comeback live today for Obsession and it was absolutely epic. Like y'all, literally, I usually get up 
around 7 to get ready for work. And I literally was like, oh, no, I'm getting up at 4 a.m. to watch Wano. Like, Wano is the person you get up at 4 a.m. for. Okay, what he saying ain't about you. How you stay out to 4 a.m.? How you can't tell me where you been? Go and get that shit out your head, uh. This ain't about you. This ain't about you. I, I feel weird that I'm only recording for 15 minutes, so I'm kind of trying to drag it out. But another thing I also wanted to say, too, about one oh. Oh, my God, it was, like, right there. Oh, I have to talk about his iconic YouTube channel, Oh my God, Weenie, are you kidding me? It's like the best YouTube channel of all time. Like seriously. Like every episode of one O's YouTube channel is not to be missed. Like don't miss it. Like watch. Like what are you doing? Like he's always doing these really cool, cute challenges. He's always engaging with his audience. Like he treats his fans so well. Like he really, really cares about what we say and do and i really feel like on his own time he goes through he reads those comments like he reads the comments he knows what we're saying and doing because i even remember like a couple of months ago on v live i had said something about you know how i like one with dark hair and then i remember another weenie commented and said the same thing like yeah he looked better with dark hair and then this comeback he has dark hair and i'm not saying you know again like we're like dictating that, but like, I he I just feel like he pays attention to what we say. You know what I'm saying? And and really tries to incorporate that into his brand and into his music, which is so dope, you know, because not every artist will do that for their fans. Um, and I personally believe, and I'm going to say this too, since I believe that he watches our content and stuff too. Well, I know I, I really, really feel like you should make black hair your signature look. You know, because I know one one thing I've noticed in the last two years of me listening to K-pop just as a genre in general is that it's this huge trend, no matter if you're female or male, to dye your hair like all the time. And like, that's cool. That's dope. But like one thing that I'm starting to notice is that like, um, if you were to do the opposite of that, then it would make you stand out even more. You know what I'm saying? So like if you stopped dyeing your hair and weren't doing what every other artist is doing, dyeing their hair a different color every other comeback, then like you would stand out more. And then in general, iconic artists, like the icon, icon, icons have kept the same color throughout their career. You know, like Michael Jackson, Beyonce and Janet Jackson, have always had the same, they don't switch their styles. You know what I'm saying? Like Janet has always had this very cool, chill, tomboy style, okay? She switched her hair color a few times, but that's about it. When Michael was still with us, he always had black hair. You literally never saw Michael Jackson in a different hair color. And he was always kept that style, that kind of military jacket style, the shades, that was always his style. And then Beyonce, I kind of want her to go to her natural black hair, but she's always had her big blonde Texas hair. You feel me? So I'm just saying like to one oh, if you were to kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Keep the black hair. Like, I just, I don't know. Cause I don't know. When I was watching his live this morning and just whenever I saw like, you know, the, the Eye on You video when he had done the, the the Losing You video and the Lose video where he also has black hair. I just, I feel like he hits different with black hair. I feel like he just looks better. So now I'm going to find a quick photo. Oh crap, the CD fell out. Shit. I don't want to damage the CD because I don't even have a CD player yet. So I haven't even really listened to the actual CD. But anyways, this is a photo of one o with black hair. So do y'all kind of see what I'm talking about when I say he kind of hits different with black hair? I just feel like he looks so handsome with his dark black hair. So that's that um, pennies and pens and weenie. That's why I love one o. It was probably a little bit all over the place. I just was talking... You know what I'm saying? I don't do any notes. I, when I first started this channel last year, I was like, oh, I'm going to write some note cards and 
Then I was like, so like, you know what? Let me just shoot content and have fun with it and just freestyle and shit. Because I'm not even really trying to do YouTube to like make money or anything. I'm just doing it for fun because I like to be in front of the camera. And like in this season of two and a half years of quarantine, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's fun. Talk to somebody on the internet. So that's that. That's why I love one -O. Go and support all of his work. Again, he's got um, Love Synonym, Right For Me. Uh, which is the part one, Love Sending In Part Two, Right For Us. He's also got the Japanese album on the way, this, the Christmas single, White Miracle. Got the newest uh, single album, Obsession, which has the songs, Eye On You and, and um, Somebody on it. So make sure you guys check out one of those work, become weenie. Seriously, this man is dope. He is the male soloist of K-pop right now. And that's that. So everybody uh, have a good day. This pro I'll probably put this video up as a birthday gift to Wano on March on his birthday, March 1st. But I'm shooting this in February. So um, I'll put this up on his birthday on March 4th, eh, 1st as a gift to him. Uh, because, oh, and this is the last thing I'm going to say because this is a really emotional thing for me and the rest of the weenies. Um, because this is going to be his last comeback before he has to enlist. Um, so for those that don't know, in South Korea, they have a mandatory enlistment for all Korean men. They have to do two years. Um, so now Wano will probably be going within the next couple of months. So this is going to be, um, this obsession comeback is going to be his last comeback before he enlists officially. And then with his birthday being um, in a couple of weeks, like I said, I'm shooting this at the end of February. His birthday is on March 4th, 1st. So we have to absolutely support Wano. Um, in this season and then over the next two years even while he's enlisted because he probably won't really be able to shoot content and do a whole lot of content and he he might be able to do some content here and there but he definitely ain't gonna be able to do no comebacks because from what I can gather they don't allow artists to do comebacks during their enlistment season um, which is two years so that it's gonna be two years of no new music um, but you know it is what it is uh, we as weenie and K-pop fans in general should understand. It's this thing I've been, excuse me, meaning to mention is that you guys, South Korea is technically at war right now with North Korea. They're only at a ceasefire. So that's why the military enlistment, uh, the military enlistment is mandatory. So, you know, we have to stay in prayer for them because this is serious. And with, with him being an idol, with Wano being an idol, and other idols in general, obviously they would never really put them, you know, on the front lines, but it's, it's something that we should stay in prayer over. We really should, because what they're doing to go and serve their country is not an easy thing. And so as Weenie, as fans of one let's make sure we continue to support him up until when he leaves. And even after he is gone, while he's enlisted, let's make sure we continue to um, stream and support him, post about him and make sure that people know him and his work. Okay. So you guys have a lovely day, morning, evening, night, whenever it is that you are watching this video and yeah, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.